Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Randomizer. Now, before we get into things, you're going to notice something a little weird. The randomizer came up with another update, and this one, it's, it's interesting. Yeah, we groovin'. We groovin'! Okay, so... <laughs> Holy cow. So, um... The new Pokemon Mystery Dungeon randomizer update enabled the ability to randomize all the overworld music, which is incredibly cool. Um, also provided the opportunity to randomize the Kecleon shops and a few other additional things that hadn't previously been randomized, and I was able to apply it to the ROM that I've been working on without adjusting any Pokemon or dungeons themselves. So, we just adjusted music. Uh, and it worked out pretty well, because it's nice to have different overworld music. We get to we get to listen to a whole bunch of new songs now. Huh? Yes, that's right. Yesterday at the quicksand pits, we assumed that was a dead end for a search, but maybe there really are secrets there. What's the matter? Are you off into another daydream? What? You want to go back to quicksand desert? But we were just there yesterday. Well, I guess that's settled. Let's test it again. I like how... Ooh... Okay, so we've had, like, three different songs just in the guild alone. That's kind of surprising, I'm not gonna lie. Uh... <laughs> Fourth! Is there, is there supposed to be another song for every single room inside the overworld? Okay, that's actually... That's kind of jarring, but I like it a lot. That's, that's pretty powerful, in my opinion. I was kind of hoping, like, similar areas would keep similar mu- No. No, not this song. Oh no! <laughs> I don't want to say goodbye! Not this song again! Alright, we're back at Quicksand Desert. Looks like this music is just sound effects, which is kind of creepy. <laughs> but it seems like there's nothing here. Just this white sand stretching out in front of us. And Quicksand Pits? Obviously. Hmm. It's very faint, but I could still feel it. This place. I know it somehow. Wait! Wait a second. There's only Quicksand. That's the key to this mystery. There's no way forward, or is there? What do you think? Where should we look, Seth? <laughs> and then, of course, I make the the most crazy and absurd suggestion of jumping into the quicksand. Uh, but I made the same thing about jumping into the waterfall, but this time I don't have a vision for it. I'm just willing to risk accidentally, like, incredibly harming ourselves and getting stuck in the quicksand uh, on a whim. On a feeling of all things. And of course, Alex just goes along with it because he has faith in me, so three? Oh, wait, no. Here we go. One, two, three, and there we go! Diving into the quicksand. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I always love that. That was, that was a pretty creative uh, thing. I don't know. Oh, this music is way too happy for this. I love it. <laughs> Let's move it! It's time to go explore! Oh my goodness, this music is such a joy. Oh, th this feels like... <laughs> I love this new randomization. Alright, now... We, can we can't enjoy the overworld music for too long. Okay, hello. Uh, we've got enemies to face. Okay... Oh, come on. Toxic spikes, really? Okay, I'm just gonna sit here. Alex is hopefully going to use refresh on me. Thank you very much. Why did... Okay, Eridos is a moron. That's fine, though. Oh, okay. Pitfall, I guess. Uh, bye. <laughs> At least this time the pitfall's going down and not going up. That's fine. I'm fine with that. God damn, this game has such good music. Like, I'm, I'm just sitting here grooving mid-fight. You know, it's ba 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 Oh, hello. Uh, goodbye. <laughs> okay, hello. Why... I never realized that the Oxus was so faint, you know? It's like, I'm hard to see. All right, moving on. Floor three, what you got for me? We got the steam cave music. It is a very steamy cave right now, too. Uh, unfortunately, we're not gonna spend much time listening to it, though, cuz, oh my goodness, Bulbasaur, or Ivysaur, sorry. My bad, I don't know my Pokemon. That is a lot of Pokemon on this, uh, this, hello? I thought only Substitute did the decoy thing. I didn't realize that Follow Me also does that, huh? Well, won't have to think about it for much longer. Hello? Reggie Ice? Um, I was not expecting to see you here. That's fine. Ooh, Pure Seed. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and use a Pure Seed right now. Like, why Why not? There's no reason not to. <laughs> okay, I guess there was a reason not to. I'm getting beat up by a giant burly man now. 
Uh, well, that was a risk that I should not have taken. And now I am scared. Right, I'm just letting Alex take out all the Pokemon that I'm running into because I do not want to lose health. That is the the last thing I want right now. So there was Blaziken. Um, hello? <laughs> I don't think Mesprit's supposed to be out here. I think they're a little later in the game. I like how despite being crazy over leveled at this point in time, like it's still a challenge. Oh. Oh, that's right. I forgot that I have, the IP, uh, I have the IQ booster on. Wow, that was hard to say. Wait, hold on. There was just... So this Kecleon isn't selling anything. He's just vibing. He just let me take all his stuff and didn't, like, stop me. He didn't even say anything when I stepped on his mat. Hello? Something seems off with that. <laughs> <laughs> I know that the new update to the randomizer randomized Kecleon shops, and part of me wonders if that randomization process also means, oh yeah, now we're not selling anything. You could just take our items for free. Uh, which, you know what? I'm not going to complain about for this specific episode, but I, I like the, the idea of shops being shops, you know? <laughs> okay, finally we're out of this floor. Okay, floor seven, what you got for me? Next to nothing, apparently. Okay. I could take next to nothing. Uh, I walked over to get the items that I couldn't even pick up because my inventory was full and hidden stairs too. You know what? I'll take any kind of stairs. I don't care what stairs it is. I don't have any money, but stairs are stairs. Okay, the music played and I thought it was a monster house before the monster house even happened. <laughs> All right, I see a TM and stairs. And Pokemon that can't get to us through that uh, through that stupid wall. Haha. <laughs> Ooh, ro I don't need Roost. Ooh, Upper Steam Cave. I'm not going to be here long, though, because the stairs are right here. <laughs> and goodbye. All right. Floor 10, what you got for me? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use Discharge just because there's a lot of Pokemon around me and I'm a little uncomfortable by it. There's also a lot of rare fossils, too. That could be really useful. Never mind. All these rare fossils are sticky and I don't want to have to deal with them. Oh no, Aki, no! Aw, oh, damn it, that was a, that's what I get for sticking around. Fuck, I, I really shouldn't have stuck around, huh? That's unfortunate. All right, I guess we're moving on. And it, it is a little jarring having the music constantly switch around, but I'm down for it, it's fun. And floor one's down with like one Pokemon opposing us. That's fine. Ooh, no music change into floor two. That's also fine. Boatload of rare evolution stones that uh, I can't pick up because I don't have the inventory space for them. <laughs> All right, let's get out of there. Floor three, what you got for me? Easy peasy, apparently. Okay. Is this just going to be the easiest episode in the world? I don't want to jinx it yet. It could definitely be the easiest episode in the world. We'll see. Uh, Hello? I one-shot Lugia. I feel like I just committed a crime. All right, we're moving out, though. What's next? We... Okay. Hey, we got a ball toy on our team. That's fine. Yeah, I'll take a ball toy. Bit under-leveled compared to the rest of us, but you know what? That's... Ooh, Joy Seed. I will absolutely eat a Joy Seed. Actually, you know, I'm going to feed it to Alex because he's 38, I'm 39. Now he's 39. We're, we're all together. Yay! All right, we got stairs right here after navigating through basically the entire floor. <laughs> I like this little this beach tile set. I don't know. I don't remember where this tile set came up. It's like a it's like a Hawaiian banana farm or something. I don't know. Do, does Hawaii even grow bananas? I don't know. I could just be talking out my ass. <laughs> that said, regardless of what this tile set is, we were able to find the exit, which is nice. Fuck you. <sighs> hey, yeah, we'll take a Nidoran. What the fuck is a mug orb? Oh, it mugs them. Okay, I guess that makes sense. I thought it just held coffee or something, you know? I mean, to be honest, if you got me a coffee cup in the shape of uh, uh, an orb from Pokemon Mystery Dungeon like that, I'd be eternally grateful. I, w I wouldn't, I don't even drink coffee, but I would start drinking coffee out of that. All right, floor seven down. What you got, floor eight? Okay. Hey! Oh, oh yeah, Kangaskhan. I will happily accept the Kangaskhan. 
I love this music. M Mystery Dungeon has has the objectively best music, like of any Pokemon game, I would argue. Hey, is this the first Monster House we've had the entire recording session? Holy shit, it is. Ah, and they have a lightning rod effect. Well, that's obnoxious, but it's not the end of the world. All right, I'm just gonna try and take them all out 101. Alex is, oh, I don't have Bubble Beam anymore. Never mind. I guess I can't try and take them all out 101. I guess I'll just start throwing rare fossils because that's all I can think to do right now. Actually, hold on. If I take out the Magnectric, if I if I'm smart, I could do this. Never mind. Magnectric is apparently able to dodge, uh, which I was not informed of. I feel like that's cheating. <laughs> Okay, there we go, and now I can use Discharge, right? Like, there's nothing stopping me. Aside from it missing. Holy shit. That was the least effective Discharge I've seen all game. This is doing nothing! Holy fuck! Okay, I lied. Now it's finally doing stuff. Holy cow. There we go. Eventually is better... Hello? I love just walking in on, like, random legendaries, just not expecting it at all. Uh, goodbye, Palkia. <laughs> Alrighty. Moving on. Floor 9. What you got? I don't have Bubble Beam anymore, so I can't help you. I'm sorry. But that's fine. Eridos is dead now. Okay. That's less fine. <laughs> Anyone want to want to join our team? We're, we're kind of desperate for team members now. All right, moving on. Hey, okay, so we're in the tower, towering castle. Deep underneath the sand dunes, apparently. <laughs> but this is... Ooh, fantastic. I didn't expect to see this. It's the same kind of light we saw at Fog Round Lake. That means that light could be coming from a time gear. We need to get a closer look at it, Seth. What? <laughs> Wait. What? Who are you? What? Who? Oh. Okay. I don't know. I don't know what voice to give this Pokemon. It's like, why did you come here? Why? We just came to look for a time gear. Stay away from the time gear. If you won't leave the time gear alone, I'll stop you. <laughs> okay, Ryulu waking just waking up out of the water was not what I expected. Uh, but I guess Ryulu being the guardian of something is it, it, it fits the narrative. I won't allow you to- I won't allow you to disturb the time gear. Get ready! Alright, we fighting now. It's- it's mc- mc- freaking fighting time. So we're gonna go ahead... Rare Fossil? You... ignorant... mongoose. I don't know why I said those words specifically, I have no clue. Okay, whatever. How much health does this Ryulu have? That's my question. Because how many- how many Rare Fossils is it gonna take to- oh! Okay, that took barely any time at all. <laughs> but I can't let you take the time gear. Will you please listen? We didn't come here to take a time gear, seriously. Don't lie to me. Now I'm use this tele telepathy to tell me what happened. I know that the time gear from Fogbound Lake was stolen. What, you heard it from Dumble? That was your doing, wasn't it? No, we didn't do it. Then who's responsible? That would probably be me. Other Numble. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> Gnummel! <laughs> That's Gnummel! <laughs> I must apologize, but I will be taking that time gear. Holy shit. <laughs> Just knocking us up out of the way. Poor Ayulu. You sustain serious damage, so don't push it. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> We're gonna try and fight Nummel to stop him from taking time gear. He's like, alright, sorry for this. It just knocks us out. Oh my goodness. Uh, the time gear. That thief is taking it. Ah, uh, Nemo must not have been talking about you. It was that Pokemon. I'm sorry for doubting you. Oh shit, this is... <laughs> okay, yes. I like this. This is this is proper escape music, I would say. Ooh. And this is not proper escape music. Why couldn't we have stuck with the music previously? Ah, uh, whatever. It's... <laughs> The time in this whole area. Time will stop all around Towering Castle. What? If we don't hurry, we'll be trapped in time. Hurry! Run with all your might! I like how he says, run with all your might, and we move at, like, the slowest pace possible. 
Chapter 12, error, reset DS and try again. Uh, no, I'm not going to reset my DS. I've been recording for 30 minutes, okay? <laughs> All right, Ryu's under protection. Her, oh, her safety, my bad. I thought it was a him, my bad. Ah, uh, yes. We are dedicating all resources to pursuit of Nummel. We must all cooperate to bring this criminal to justice. I'm not cooperating with the goddamn cops. Yeah, you better get out of here. <laughs> all right, Monferno. Monferno is incredibly astonished that uh that the sinking sand was not the end. There was more to do, which means there might be more to do at some of the other locations. We'll see. Now everyone's complaining that we're back at square one. Hound Doom chips in. Maybe not. Not necessarily. Hound Doom, sir. There are some clues. One time gear was found at Fogbound Lake, guarded by Nummel, correct? Another time gear was at Towering Castle, guarded by Ryulu. Oh yeah, that reminds me, Ryulu told us something interesting. Ryulu knew that time gear from Fogbound Lake was stolen. Nummel alerted her by tele telepathy. So besides Nummel and Ryulu, there's another Pokemon like them? Yes, the last of the trio sh <laughs> Shellos. Really? I would have loved to see, like, Arceus be, be one of the Guardians or something. But then again, having them be pretty weak Pokemon is pretty power- is, you know, it's an interesting gimmick. <laughs> Those three Pokemon, Nummel, Ryulu, and Shellos, all three are said to dwell at lakes. It is a fact that Nummel and Ryulu were encountered at lakes. As such, I believe that Shellos will be found at a lake somewhere. Let's keep something in mind. Nummel's lake was located on a high plateau. Ryulu's was hidden far beneath the desert. In both cases, the lakes were in an unusual places. So the lake where Shellos lives, it will be somewhere that we least expect it to be. Well, that's helpful. Oh my goodness, that, that hurts my ears. What sound effect is that? Why is that mixed in with the randomization? Oh, I, I'm half tempted to mute mute that. That's not, oh. Oh, that makes me so uncomfortable. Okay, they're talking about Jolte the, the crystal that Jolteon stole last time. I'm sorry, I'm having trouble narrating this. Uh, this, this, this pounding music is very, very painful. Oh my goodness. Oh, it stopped. Thank God. <laughs> Please touch Jolteon's crystal. Because Houndoom knows about the whole dimensional scream ability. If a secret remains hidden in the calm domain, if Seth touches the crystal, it may trigger the dimensional scream. It may trigger a vision. I desperately wish to borrow the crystal because of Seth's ability. Please, may we? <laughs> Poor Jolteon. He's like, okay, yeah, I can't refuse anything like that. You know, whatever. Everyone's watching. I don't know if I'll see anything, but I need to concentrate. Well, Seth, there it is. Honestly, what what would it have been if literally nothing happened? If there was no vision, I was just like, sorry, y'all, I didn't see anything. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's a vision of Nummel beating up shells. Oh, no. <laughs> that was... Nummel was trying to steal time gear. There was also another Pokemon. Was it Shellos? Anyway, the crystal did trigger a vision. Do you see anything, Seth? Why, yes. Yes, I did. You saw Nummel knock out a Pokemon, one that you'd never seen before. I'd seen a Shellos before. I fought multiple Shellos. In this in this series alone, I fought multiple Shellos. I'm sure you can go back, rewatch the episodes, prove it. And yeah, they're asking a big question, was that the past or was that the future? Yes, it is true that it may have been a vision of the past, but it could have been a vision of the future. If you would be so kind, could you remind us what Ryulu said, Alex? Who informed Ryulu via telepathy that the time gear was stolen? If I recall correctly, did you say that it was Nummel? Hmm. Yeah, there's there's no mistake. But the name Shellos. I'd never heard it before. The name Shellos is new to me. I only heard it from you today. Then there's still a chance. If Ryulu claimed that Shellos had alerted her about the time, stolen time gear, then Seth's dimensional scream would surely have been from the past. But that was not the case. Ryulu did not mention Shellos. Therefore, it's possible that the event happens in the future. One more point, and this is a sure thing. Upon touching the crystal, Seth experienced the dimensional scream. The vision indicated the presence of a time gear, which means maybe what we seek is in the calm domain. Perhaps there is a passage there that leads to a time gear. Aw, oh, look at you, Houndoom, being so incredibly deductive and hopeful. That's Sherlock Houndoom. Sherlock Holmes Doom? Holmes Doom. I don't, I don't know if I like that. I've got to come up with some idea to make the thumbnail and title of this video. I think Sherlock Holmes Doom might be a little bit of a stretch. A little too cheesy, but we'll see. <laughs> Alright, so I don't remember. Does the entire guild go to Calm Domain, like, at the same time? Or do we all go separately? I think we all go at the same time, but more importantly, I need to get my items into storage because I have way too many items right now.
Hello? That was a cute little jingle. <laughs> this music is a little less cute. This music sounds horrifying. Also, I noticed that I had not one, but two IQ boosters. One of them is being held by me. Oh wait, hold on. I thought one of them was being held by me. Did I accidentally put it in storage? Yeah, I accidentally put it in storage. Okay, both Alex and myself are holding IQ boosters, because that's, you know, a helpful thing these days. <laughs> All right, bring it, Eridoza, up here while I'm crying. <laughs> uh, this music, man! Every time I hear it, it hurts! It hurts my soul! All right, Calm Domain. You know, between Calm Sepulcher and Calm Domain, I feel like it's a, there's consistency. All right, so this is the Calm Domain. Somewhere inside this cave, there should be a passageway that leads to Shellos' lake. But it'll take us forever to search every step of the way. For starters, let's go as deep as we can. I don't know. I feel like at the rate we've been going, we might be able to go all the way right now. Never mind. It's a monster house on the very first floor. That's unfortunate. And, of course, Rhyhorn has lightning rod. Uh, we're going to have to do this legitimately. Well, good news is I'm protected. Uh, Alex is less protected, but I have uh, ways of protecting him. <laughs> right, King is gone. Got knocked out, unfortunately. I was gonna say about got knocked out, but no, it did get knocked out. Ugh. Oh shit, we might go down right here too. I'm going to, oh, I didn't mean to walk up, I meant to look up. Fuck, those are those are two very different things, damn it. Okay, uh, rare fossil up here, because you're the only one that can only attack me, and the chances of you potentially attacking Alex are slightly higher when you're encountering both of us. Fuck! Oh, this is terrifying. Fuck you over first. <laughs> Thank God. Okay. Nah! Are you kidding me? <sighs> Hopefully the the next attempt isn't first floor <laughs> first floor monster house. Dang. Please tell me we at least still have our IQ boosters. Nope, we don't have our IQ boosters anymore. Damn it. Okay. That's unfortunate. Someone in the comments of one of the videos mentioned potentially getting Blizzard back or another- Ooh. You could just- You can buy three dollars? <laughs> oh shit! I can just buy three dollars for zero dollars. Okay, that's interesting. I kind of want to bring the Space Globe in there to help boost my moves, but at the same time, if I die with it, we're fucked. I'm willing to risk it because I've seen like what six space orbs already. So I'm I'm bringing the the space globe into this dungeon. Hopefully we don't die straight off. I'm just I'm worried. I might accidentally lose the space globe here, which would be uh not good. I already see a bunch of Pokemon. Ah, <sighs> and I see a Rhyperior too. Fuck. All right. Here's what we're gonna do. We're going to take out all the Pokemon nearby as fast as possible. Oh shit, Earthquake, okay. Um, that actually might work out in our favor if it kills, yes, it killed the Rhyperior, okay. That worked out so well in our favor because now I can use Discharge. Holy shit, okay. I was not expecting that to be helpful to us. But that definitely was. Hey, thanks, Geodude. Yeah, never mind that I just dealt 450 damage to you. Okay. Floor two. Okay. Hopefully no more weird floors like that again. Uh, but I guess if it happens, it happens, right? You can't really stop it. Ooh, Stone Edge. Yeah, we'll, we'll teach a Geodude Stone Edge. Uh, kind of replace, you know, Explosion with it. Because that is a terrible move that nobody should ever know. Earthquake is also uh, a terrifying move, uh, and I'm not happy with him knowing it, but it can still be useful. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and turn it off. <laughs> I don't want to risk him accidentally using uh, Earthquake while we're trying to survive on really low health or something. <laughs> Moving on. Floor three of the Calm Domain. Cool. Oh, come on. That's fine. This is why I'm glad I have Discharge. <laughs> hey! Okay, so this, this is basically making up for all the all the monster houses we didn't have, you know, in the first dungeons. And we got them all this time. Oh, come on, really? It was already a sandstorm, now it's hailing. 
Whatever. How's it missing so much? Whatever. Okay, hello! We're gonna do that again. And it's actually going to hit them this time. Thank God. Okay. <laughs> well, now I have to deal with this bullshit hail. Uh, I don't want to spend any more time here, but... Huh. Sleep seed would be useful. We'll see. Four or five. What we got? We're, we're in a uh, muck poisony area. <laughs> Why did I walk in there? If you see, like, more than four items clustered together, it's probably a monster house, let's be honest. Man, it feels like the rate of monster houses in the previous dungeons, you know, perfectly fine. Where's this one? Every floor has a monster house. At least this is an easy-to-handle monster house, you know? I say that, and then Alex gets confused, which is definitely going to throw- Oh, hey! I'll take a Dratini, yeah! Dratinis are cool. Uh, you're gonna be a little more helpful than Geodude, I think, in the long run. Uh, no offense, Geodude. I just don't like you. Mistrevis! Okay. I wasn't expecting catch, or not catch, but have a Mischievous join our team. Uh, Dratini is really low level, so we're going to replace Dratini. And also Mischievous is in between me, as I'm confused, and my opponent Pokemon, Ladybug. All right, let's get, no, Kangaskhan, please don't. Okay, well, Kangaskhan's on her own little journey, so I'm, I can't stop her now. Mischievous, stop toying with the goddamn shoulder and just move. Mischievous, do you have any damage dealing moves, or are you just annoying as fuck? You have Psy Wave. That's all you're gonna get. You get Psy Wave and that's it. Use it. I am highly regretting letting Mischievous join our team. Holy shit. Thank fuck. Oh my god. Finally. Alright, stairs. Boom. Out of there. I'm not turning your moves back on, Mischievous. You, you have proven why I shouldn't do that. Yay, Mischievous is dead. Now I don't have to deal with them. <sighs> ah, that's annoying. Sure, we'll, we'll take a, a little stupid dumbass fish. Better than Mischievous, regardless. What the fuck? Where is the... Where even... Literally, what? What even is this dungeon? Okay, we're going this way. We're going up. Please. Where? There's gotta be... So, there, there has to be an exit here. It's not like there can't be an exit, right? Really? Oh my god, I don't know how we we're supposed to get here naturally. But whatever. I'm, I'm here. We're moving on. That was the long floor. I have... Basically no more moves. Um, this sucks. <laughs> I'm just gonna let my allies, you know, do everything that I need them to. Because the longer I continue getting in fights, the... Oh my god, really? Fine. I guess I do have just a lot of throwable items that I can just continually throw. If nothing else, that's that's what I can do. <laughs> that is how I contribute to these fights. Hey! Okay. Let's get the drop, the seed first, and then go down the hidden stairs, and not the real stairs, I guess. I actually do have money, which is nice, because this person is going to restore all my PP. Thank fuck. <laughs> Huzzah! That was greatly appreciated. You know, I actually had money the first time. <laughs> for the first time in ages. And now I have PP again for the first time in ages. Watch me do this! Huzzah! Oh, look at all these Pokemon. And look at my actual ability to use Discharge again on them all. And it'd be completely useless, because that's... Of course it is. Stop missing! Whatever. Hey! It's a good thing I got PP back, because... Holy fuck, that's a lot of... Alright. I mean, it's a monster house. I don't know why I was about to say that's a lot of Pokemon. Like, what was I expecting? It's a monster house. Alright, we're getting out of there. Floor 9, what you got for me? This will be turning into a really long recording session, I'll be honest. I was not expecting this to go as long as it has been. Okay, let's see if this... So this 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 one activated. It's an actual shop again. St I'm still perplexed by that first Kecleon that just gave away all the items on his mat instead of selling them to me. Is that a normal thing that happens in Mystery Dungeon normally, or is that just some weird randomization? Shmovin' on down level 10. What you got for me? Oh, cool, you paralyzed me. Fuck you. What? 
No, I'm not gonna let you on my team. Fuck you. Like, I know that you're snubble and all that, but like... Oh, hello. That powerful earth power. Meet powerful water power. <laughs> where the fuck are these stairs? I swear I've been every... God damn... Okay, here's where we're going. It's like the only place the stairs could have been left. <laughs> and goodbye. Floor 11. How long is this dungeon? I'm gonna get some money. Uh, three, really. Okay, that, that answers my question. That's how long the dungeon is. Oh, okay. I, I remember this part. But we're going to save this puzzle for later. So these three crystals, there's something, some shenanigans we've got to do with them. I'm going to save that for next time. Oh, the, <laughs> the music changed when we came back from the cutscene. Okay, that's fine. Ah, uh, yes. By, by the fact that it changed color, I'm sure you can guess what the, what the puzzle is going to be if you haven't played this before. Thank you all for watching, and have a fantastic rest of your day.